European markets are mixed as Greece faces a crucial week of IMF repayments. The deal's Jonathan Brody joins us from London with that and more. Jonathan. Yes, good morning, Jane. Uh, the unresolved impasse over Greek debt is dragging down the euro and holding eurozone markets back. Athens is due to make its next payment to the International Monetary Fund on June 5th, but may not have the cash to do so unless its next tranche of bailout money can be unblocked in time. Yet there's better news on the eurozone economy, which is pushing up in a more positive direction. Spain and Italy delivered better than expected manufacturing index readings for May, and France, although it's still below the reading of 50 that marks the threshold between growth and decline, is slightly better than it has been. So the total eurozone result is about 52.2. In London, UK Defence and Engineering Group Ultra Electronics has agreed a deal for the Electronic Products Division of San Diego San Diego-based Kratos Defense Def Security Solutions, which is worth up to $265 million. In the, it said the deal would establish a major presence in the growing market for electronic warfare. Ultra Electronics is up over 2.6%. Online betting company Playtech has dropped 2.8% after offering to buy Israel-based but London-listed contract for difference trading platform Plus 500. And the deal values the target at about $700 million. Trading in plus 500 was suspended on London's AIM market last month as it came after, under scrutiny from regulators over its anti-money laundering procedures. It's anti-money laundering procedures, I'm sorry. That's all from me in London. Over to you in New York, Jane. And that was Jonathan Brady with The Deal in London.